Just fin- this is not my go-kart, this is my go-kart. Just finished. Hey guys, I uh, have a bit of an announcement. Well, it would have been cool if that opened, but um, I am actually at the Margate trailer. Uh, there's, there's no sign. Uh, I'm at the Margate trailer. Um, I will be running in the Ignite Spec Series this weekend. So I'll be in the Ignite Senior on a Margate K3 Ignite chassis. Um, and so what that means, if you're not familiar with the Ignite program is, I will be on the same chassis as everybody I'm racing against. We're all in the Ignite K3s. Um, and then the the all of us are on the same spec tire, the R80. It's a Hoosier brand, really hard, durable tire, can last forever. Um, and then it's it's the whole class is designed to put the driver in control, right? Minimal adjustments, minimal changes. Everybody's as, as spec as you can get in this in this racing community. And we're gonna go out there and just hey. Who's the best driver, right? So I'm really looking forward to it. Seen a, a few names on the entry list, a couple good Trinity guys. Evan Stommer of Margay Racing. He's now actually in cars, I think, with Ruckus Racing. I hope, hope I'm right on that. Um, he'll be out here. And then uh, uh, the usual bunch of Margay guys that'll be out here. But um, yeah, so this whole series is designed on entering the sport or simply testing the driver, right? So it's, it's a great great program if you're entering the sport because it takes a lot of the questions um, out there and it's a, it's a super great community of folks um, and then if you're an experienced driver it's like all right well how good are you you know oh you're good on your whatever car let's go let's go toe to toe in a Margate where everything's the same we'll see what happens so a great program I think it started in like 2014 um, at Gateway and it is spread across the country lots of clubs regional events like this one um, do the Ignite series and run it. So uh, hoping for a great crowd. A lot of NASCAR, IndyCar guys have been racing with uh, the Ignite program before. Uh, Connor Daly, Gabby Chavez, both route at the uh, Indianapolis Motor Speedway a few years ago at the Indy race um, for Briggs. And, and that's not the only time too. They've, they've had professionals coming here. Like I mentioned, Evan Sommer, he's in cars now, like professional. But uh, yeah, so it, it's a great time. I'm super stoked for it. Uh, just want to give a huge shout out to Keith and Zach both, you guys made this possible. I appreciate everything you guys have done um, for the stall racing, uh, I guess, brand of vlog uh, for this weekend to make it happen. And I'm just so stoked. We've got uh, practice and qualifying tomorrow. On Friday, Saturday will be races. We've got a pre-final final, and then we've got a 60 minute en endurance race where it's called the Iron Man, right? So it's all the Ignites. So it's junior, senior, masters. We're just gonna go out on track and winner takes home like a thousand bucks, I think. So stoked for that. And then Sunday, come back Sunday, more racing. We got a, a final, or a pre-final final. So uh, awesome weekend. Super stoked to be here at the WK Man Cup on behalf of Margay. Um, yeah, I'm stoked. Let's get into it, guys. This is gonna be an awesome weekend. So here's Ben's chariot for the weekend. A little different color scheme than we're used to, but uh, really, really uh, awesome of Ignite to uh, offer this up. So, in, in typical us gas. fashion, yeah, he doesn't even have gas. So, <laughs> we're uh, he's gonna grab a random fuel jug, uh, but in typical stall fashion, scrambling last minute. Um, and Ben asked me to check the cart, you 
and make sure everything was good. I don't know the car. So, everything looked good. We'll see. We've got first practice. That'll be the real test, I guess. Woo. Good morning uh, from the Marge Ignite tent here at Newcastle Motorsports Park. I just got done with my first practice session in the Ignite K3 cart, and everybody was like, oh, you gotta worry about this with these tires and that and whatever, and I actually felt really good. Like, from the get-go, I felt super comfortable in the cart. The handling was pretty good. It definitely, like, the tires definitely, you, you need to turn the wheel a bit more to get it to go where you want, um, and there's a little bit of sliding, especially in the first couple of uh, uh, laps, but no, it felt really good, and it was a ton of fun definitely felt myself getting faster and faster and like Casey's like all right well what changes do you want to make for you know the next practice session like do we need to be changing the rear width or front track or anything um and I don't know I actually felt really good I might widen the rear just a fuzz because I felt like I was sticking and sliding and sticking through a couple corners but I don't know and it's only gonna get hotter from here too it should be in the high 70s low 80s today so it'll be a, it'll be a tough one um from the heat perspective but no it I I don't know I just came off smiling man that was a ton of fun uh, got a couple, I was like 15 pounds over, so got a couple housekeeping, things like that, but, whew, felt really good. It was a lot of fun. Practice two, uh, came and went. I actually wound up spinning, got off track a little bit. Um, nothing like that happened. When I got back on, I actually felt better for some reason. Um, but yeah, just somebody's making a move on the inside, and I just, I tried not to lock it up. I, in my, I feel like normally I wouldn't have, but in these tires, uh, it's, quite a bit easier to loop it so I just locked it up just a little bit too much went around had to get out of the way it was gonna happen at some point right I'd rather happen practice early in the day than uh, qualifying or a race so I think the main issue I'm having right now is that I don't know what to change you know it feels so foreign and so different I'm definitely gonna make some kind of a change just so that I can, you know, have some, some data for it. But uh, I don't know. I've had to take some weight off because I've been a little bit overweight. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Still a ton of fun. It was a uh, good running, and it's in, it's a neat little spec series. I, I really like it. I just need to find a little bit more uh, a little bit more speed with my handling issues, and then uh, I don't know, adjust. I think I could have been in the realm. Uh, comparing myself to the times of others. I, I think I was in there. Third practice for Ben. He was quick in the first one. I don't know where he stood on the time chart. Second one, he was seventh. So we'll see how he does this time. Not much you can tune here, but it sure is interesting. We are in the nice bungalow. Bungalows. Excuse me. Stall Racing Hospitality Suite. Yep, the hospitality suite, as Dad said. I just finished uh, third and final practice. We'll get into some qualifying here shortly. If I can find it okay so the top time was a 24.6 and I was all the way back at a 25.4 um, there's a lot to go into there I found out I'm about three teeth off of uh, at least one of the guys who was in the mix faster um, and I knew I knew I was low I didn't know I was that low because I wasn't hitting the rev limiter much whenever I was alone but I for qualifying I'm gonna go up quite a bit and be hitting that limiter who we got Go spider this spider. is Go Spidey and Spidey? Yeah. That's Go Spidey and Spidey. Whoa, she comes out. Will we get sued if we have Ooh, toys? No, Look at Spider Man. Look at Spider Man. Finley wants you to look at Spider Man. Look, I gotta do a Green Goblin. How does Green? What does Green Goblin sound like? Ooh, I don't know do. Oh, look. Green Goblin says, "Ha ha, Spidey." <laughs> <laughs> I scared you a little bit. You scared me. <laughs> <laughs> that was my Green Goblin from Spidey and Friends. If you're familiar. Yeah. I could do a good Hulk too. Spidey. <laughs> That was spot on. Why does Rhino always? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What flies around in the sky? Spider-Man. What about an airplane? Yeah, airplanes will fly in the sky. What else? 
helicopter. A copter copter. Yeah, a helicopter. Here we are in the Ignite compound. Ben getting ready for qualifying. Ben, what's your strategy in qualifying? Do what I always do. Yeah. Put it up front. Yeah, there you go. There's there's that humble and humility that you guys come here for. Ben, I was thinking about it, and I really think you should just try to be the fastest one out there. I don't and know, if you do that, that's interesting. If you do that, I think good things will come of it. Yeah. All right. So, uh, by the way, thank you to uh, our pal M for lending us his micron because um, we forgot our Alfano at home. <sighs> Sitting down in the Margay trailer. Qualifying just came and ended. Um, throughout the whole run, my engine was kind of cutting out and we uh, found out why coming in. The catch can didn't have any holes in it. Not, that's my fault, not, let me preface that. Um, but yeah, so because that engine was cutting out a little bit and out of a lot of the corners, I was just, you know, waiting for the engine to kind of hit it. So hopefully um, for the next qualifying session, it'll be fixed, but I ended up, I think, P9 about a second off of where I wanted to be. Um, and I'm hoping that was, most of that time was just, I mean, right there in that uh, catch can engine issue. I'm, I'm thinking about narrowing my rear track as well a little bit. I don't know if that'll actually help at all, um, but I just feel like I need a little bit more bite in the rear. I just need it to, to sit a little bit more for some stuff. But then other turns, it's like, shoot, I feel really good in those turns. I don't think I need anymore. So it's a weird mind game right now that I'm I'm kind of going through. So for sure, fix the cash can issue. Uh, big thanks to Casey and then realign the carb, make sure we're good there. And then thinking about taking the narrower, the track in the rear narrower for the second qualifying session because we've got two today. So first one, not great. Plenty to improve upon uh, ninth. Finished my last qualifying day here under the Mario Ignite tent um, with the catch can changes. I am no longer, you know, keeping my engine from air now that it can breathe a little bit. Um, it was fine. It was beautiful. Um, found a bunch of pace, maybe eight tenths, but I still am about seven tenths off of the, the top guy. Um, I actually talked with. Uh, a gentleman over there, Nick Sobiek, you may know him, uh, okay, Briggs yeah. Racers, he's very uh, talented young man. Um, his dad was coming over here and looking at me, and they've run the series uh, a bit more than me, obviously. And he was just kind of walking me through what they were doing, because I was going to do one thing, and he's like, oh, we actually tried that earlier, and we didn't really have great success for it. So um, made a lot of changes, actually, with him here, and we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Could be completely terrible and I'll be cursing him, but uh, for now I feel good about all the changes we've made, so I'm looking forward to coming tomorrow and uh, being fast. And I, I've told everybody I don't care about tomorrow's racing until 5 p.m. whenever the endurance starts. I'm trying to set everything up for then, so if I have to throw around, throw away races to get some testing and I'll do it, you know? But I'm excited, it's been a ton of fun, and uh, just so, so grateful, honestly, that we're able to do stuff like this. Um, I got a spot underneath the tent and Dad and Casey obviously coming out. Everybody's just been, hey, what do you need? Oh, let's talk about your setup in here. And, you know, it's been very, very wonderful. So, uh, super stoked to get some racing in tomorrow though. And even bigger, like the endurance race, that should be a ton of fun. Uh, great group of drivers out here in the Ignite class. And yeah, just excited to get two of them. All right, gonna go grab a nap, get some dinner, get fueled up, ready to go for tomorrow. Riding with Ben. The new segment, rivaling the morning walk, riding with Ben. That's a joke, because last time I tried to have my own segment, everybody was like, the morning walk is so much better. Oh my gosh, Ben, you're a terrible guy. So, I'm not gonna do that. Jeez. I got, I was too focused on this that I just hit the brake hard. I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm like bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, my hair's all messed up. Looked in the mirror this morning and saw that. Um, day two here with the Ignite folks under the Margate tent. Um, got qualifying and practice done yesterday. Today we have a warm-up, a pre-final, a final, and then that big endurance hour-long, endurance, the hour-long uh, final alone race that we're gonna do. Um, 
and that's the one I care about, right? So like I said, if I'm throwing away my practice and, and pre-final and final today to get good data to get a good setup for the final, the, the hour-long endurance, I'm, I'm doing that because that's what I, you know, really want to do well in and then tomorrow obviously do what we can. But um, so today we're just going to, you know, continue to try to make some changes and if we take some big swings, let's go for it. We might miss, but um, I also need to work on my driving style. Like these tires are so much less grippy than what I'm used to that it has certainly changed the way that I view my driving. Um, so gotta work on that as well, but about to get started here in about 10 minutes and see what the day has. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Okay. okay, thanks. I'm not even here, just oh. do your thing. I'm not even here. Right. Oh, Saturday morning. Newcastle, man, what a great day. It's like, I don't know, probably 75 already. I've already got sunscreen on, because uh, otherwise I'd fry. Just a great day out here. Got Ben, day two. He's slowly coming to terms with it. It's, everything's like all different for him from what he's used to. Primarily, <clears throat> the tires that's still like the hardest thing to come to grips with man eh? so I'm sorry for that by the way so struggling to come to grips with those tires and um, it just takes time you know the guys that are the guys that are faster than him have a lot more time on them they have a lot more time in this program which which helps hey good morning and what a beautiful morning it is it's already in the 70s the wind is calm and we are at our favorite place the statue of liberty of go-kart racing newcastle motor sports park the morning walk with dad we're doing something a little different this weekend ben had an opportunity to race in the Margay Ignite series. It's a spec series and a big thanks to Zach, who has been just a gracious host and helped us every step of the way as we have struggled this weekend. Um, was looking up some information and Amos Bronson Alcott said, to be ignorant of one's ignorance is the malady of the ignorant and as I looked at our situation this weekend we are ignorant of these rock-hard Hoosier tires we are ignorant of the settings of the Margay which the people in the tent area have been extremely nice to help us out we're ignorant on how to drive with all those factors but the good thing is Amos we're not ignorant of the fact that we are ignorant so I don't know what that means other than we're awash in ignorance, but maybe we're not completely ignorant. All right, after a uh, mediocre at best qualifying effort, I'm starting an eighth of 12. Um, the good news is guys in front, of me, in front of me were all pretty solid. So I didn't feel like I was, you know, really behind anybody that I shouldn't be behind. These guys are all solid drivers. I just obviously wanted to be up a, a bit quicker in qualifying and obviously and really just kind of the whole day but we were trying some stuff um qualifying pre-final final everything to get set up for the uh the iron man at the end of the day today so we're, we were trying to set up stuff at this point um had a good run on on the uh the start there but the outside line gets a little bit of that momentum um to kind of hang on to those positions so i'm kind of still right where i started some some hard nose uh, battling in the, the first couple laps here in these Margay machines. It's just such an even playing field. And um, you could definitely tell uh, out there on track of everybody, you know, look at that. I mean, it's everybody's just doing the same thing and it's it's crazy. So uh, 55 drops a tire, I'm able to take advantage of it there um, and get by him and, and stay kind of with Evan. But uh, ultimately I think those guys wind up pulling away from us. Um, and here the 55 uh, is, is behind me and I think he winds up getting me back um yeah right here this is one of the best passing zones there and he's just able to take advantage of the inside um and i think ultimately that's where i finish is is right behind him couldn't quite get the uh, over under to work for me there uh, he does a solid job defending i just didn't have the momentum i wasn't going to dive bomb him there so 
uh, ultimately just kind of finished behind him in that pre-final in uh, seventh, I think it was. And after finishing uh, seventh in the pre-final, I'll be starting seventh here in the final, uh, right behind Evan, uh, golden boy of Margay. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so so you know, moved up one spot from the pre-final, and uh, again tried a couple couple changes to the cart here. Great start for the inside line here. I mean, just absolutely exactly what you want. Um, of course, as I mentioned earlier, the outside line kind of has that nice little momentum swing that they get here. So I roll up so I don't lose another spot. Um, and already you can see kind of the distance between the 55 and I like the handling was just not amazingly there at the beginning of the race it came on a little bit as the race goes on but um, I'm trying stuff because I actually never go on the rumble strips when we normally run this class but in the or I normally run at Newcastle but um, in these machines I was trying to use a little bit more of the the track and as the weekend went on I found myself using more and more of those rumble strips that you'll see around the track um, but able to kind of stay with that pack for now, still early. Uh, the guy behind me actually is geared extremely low. Um, sorry, not that guy. That guy, he he's a little fella, um, extremely talented though. He started in the back after not qualifying or racing um, at all Saturday. I don't think he was feeling good, but he charged right to the front. Wound up getting like first or second or third, I think. But So he got by me lap one. Uh, this guy, though is the one I was talking about. He was geared super low compared to me. I mean, he did a great job staying on my bumper and the turns and stuff. And then on the straightaway, he, he would just fly by me because we're all hitting the rev limiter pretty quick, but he would um, obviously just not hit that rev limiter and zoom by. You'll see what I mean coming up here. As we get to this straight, uh, he's going to pull out, and it's like I'm standing still. I guess that wasn't a great view of it. Um, but I it certainly felt like it like I could tell on the straightaway the bump I was getting that he was geared way lower than me I wanted to lead so I kind of half hardly defend there because I wanted to lead since he's got the gear to maybe push me You know completely blow the corner and he's off to the races So um, you can see the gap between not only him, but the leaders that are now here Luckily he uh, goes a little bit wide, you know, he was sending it there um, and ultimately pays for it but uh, I, I take the lead back from him and here he comes. Look at this. This is what I was talking about with the gearing. I mean, he's just zipping by me. Um, and again, cooks it a little bit. So I'm able to take that position right back. But it was like that every lap. Uh, he was really sending it into that first turn and uh, making it stick for the most part. There he goes again. Uh, we've actually caught up to the 55 at this point. We'd worked together for a few laps, caught up to him. And then uh, I think we're at like the white checker. It's a two to go. Um, and he decided to make a move here and so I realistically have a chance to pass these guys as the the race is coming to a close here um, and I just you know did exactly what the 56 had done the the last couple laps and cook it so I've got to you know catch these guys as the uh, the white flag I think might have been out at this point in time so um, I'm really just trying to focus to get back on the 55's bumper here as I mentioned up on the rumble strips um, the cart came in a lot better at the end of the race. It certainly was feeling better every lap, and I was getting more comfortable in the longer runs. Um, and so I, I was able to at least pull in on the 55 here, um, who I think is maybe slightly pulling in on the 56 ahead of him. So um, I'm trying to get two, but the way this track's set up is difficult to kind of pass in some of these spots. Um, the good passing zones have already kind of gotten past us, but he kind of blows the corner a little bit. I get the inside on him here. He's defending as best he can, but just washes out a little bit, getting out in the rumble strips, um, or rumble strips, getting out in the rubber. And uh, I take advantage of that, and now it's just kind of defending for the end of the race. I'm, I know at this point with a few turns left, I'm not going to be able to catch that 56, unfortunately. Um, but I do manage to hold off the 55 for the Saturday final. Um, but I still finished eighth, which was worse than I started. But good fun race with these guys. Clean racing uh, just wasn't the result that I had hoped for. So we're doing the, uh, the front end here. We're raising the height. You can see this was three and then this was three, but now it's five up top and one on the bottom. Why are we doing that, Ben? Uh, we're doing that so that I can have a little bit more front grip as well. You can bat the rear grip that we put into it. I haven't had grip all weekend last practice, or last, sorry, the final. Uh, I had I had good rear grip, but my front grip was a little bit overdone, and so now I'm hoping that this is uh, this is the ticket. And then I talked about it a little bit. I guess I can show it. So yeah, you can see we moved this bolt down, which raises the frame up, 
gives us more center gravity, higher center gravity rather, um, and grips up the, the rear end a little bit and it felt better. Um, and now we're gonna do something similar to, to the front here as well so that I have a little bit more bite in the, the the front for when I'm turning into stuff. But yeah, I don't know. I'm uh, cautiously optimistic or it could be absolutely terrible. We'll see, but Casey enjoys the work regardless. I think we're going in the right direction. I do too. And then we got a couple other minor things clutch, uh, clean that. I just changed the oil, put new oil in, changed out the, the gas can to a bigger one. Yeah, just a few things. We'll be good to go. Just as the Indy GP is getting underway and the family out here watching it, I'm about to take the track here um, in the next 20 or so minutes for the uh, Ironman the, with the Margate Ignite team. Um, it'll be juniors, seniors, and masters out there on track. Um, I'll be starting probably eighth, I think is what it was. Eighth, I believe is where I'll be starting. Um, and so it'll be all of us on track at the same time. Uh, winner takes home a thousand bucks and the next couple spots pay out as well. Uh, but yeah, 60 minutes straight behind the wheel. We've made a fair amount of changes um, for this event, for this race. And just to spice it up a little more, there is a, a weather threat, a little rain potentially in the radar. Um, so I can see clouds getting a little bit darker, but will it, won't it is kind of the question right now. And if it does hit, does the race stop? Are we going through it? You know, like what is that going to look like? So. Um, all questions that need to be answered before we get the track, but it'll be about 20 minutes and I should be taking that green flag and you know, winning a thousand bucks, I think. Also, it's worth noting, it's like 85 degrees out here. It's really hot out here. It's, it's really toasty, so an hour in the car, that's gonna be a lot. After already having a fair amount of seat time today in the car, not sleeping well, and I've got maybe even a home run derby type thing after, <laughs> so. It's gonna be a long day, but they, they don't call it an Iron Man for nothing. I mean, I am made of steel. Whew. All right, guys. Sorry, it took me a while. You guys don't know it took me a while to do this. Um, I was talking with some of the Margate folks over there. Um, Evan, Golden Boy over there, you know, fastest dude to ever touch a Margate product. Um, Keith, kind of the big dog. Um, of Margate talking to them and um, about their their series the ignite series and just all the, all the things that they're able to accomplish um, for the common racer out here um, and everywhere um, so it was a great conversation with them uh, the the race the endurance race was shortened by about 10 minutes so instead of 60 minutes it was uh, 50 minutes because of the threat of rain I'm looking around for clouds and I can't really tell Way over there, the clouds are dark still, but whenever we were on track, a couple different times, they spit it out, spit out a little water. Track got like slightly more slick, but nothing too bad. Lap time certainly dropped off, but um, as we were going around, I did see lightning a few times. So it was probably a good call for them to shorten it. Um, but I think we got the full length of that. And um, if it rained, they were gonna go to a green, white checkered situation. So basically two to go. Um, but the race itself was a ton of fun. I started, eighth or ninth um eighth and i think i got shuffled back to ninth or whatever but it worked my way up to as high as fourth And then Reed, I believe is the young man's name, he made a solid pass on me. I'd been reeling him in the entire race, just little at a time, 
um, and then I got by him. And he was pushing me for a few laps on the last lap. He made a great move on me to, uh, to put it away. Um, I did everything I could to defend, but the kid got me. Um, so he got fourth and I ended up fifth. what I wanted but certainly much better than the pace I've been having all week and it's been uh, a learning process and I think Casey and I have stumbled into something pretty good so uh, tomorrow we're looking to uh, build on that and who knows we may squeak out a podium who knows I haven't qualified like sixth or something like that just move up a couple slots in the pre-final final boom skadoosh I'm on the podium man but in all seriousness that was it does it I can't even begin to tell you how like fun and what a mental game that was. Like, oh, my goal is to pull in on Reed. Oh, I passed him. Then what do I do? And then it's like, you got to keep concentration, right? You lose focus for a second, it bites you. I wa I waved at my family. I could see them. I waved at them one lap. The next turn was a catastrophe. Like, you just have to stay locked in. Um, but it was a lot of fun. Like, I would love to do more endurance type events. Like, uh, that was a, 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 a just a tip of the iceberg. You know, that was only a 50 minute race. It can only go you know, up from there. I think that's probably the lowest you'd call an endurance, but um, yeah, I'd love to see that kind of make a, make a comeback because that was an absolute blast. And I, just huge props to uh, Keith and everybody at Margate for making that happen. That wasn't supposed to happen. That race was not supposed to happen, but huge props to them. Um, and a big appreciation just let me be a part of it. Like this has been such a great weekend. Um, and that race was just a, you know, culmination of it all. It, it was, I don't know. I, I obviously I'm just left speechless. It's a great time.